Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 8.1 in VirtualBox. Before we get started, please vote up in the poll what my next video should be about. Don't forget to share this video. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, click that subscribe button. With this being said, let's get right into it. The first software that you will need and will be the only one will be VirtualBox linked in the description of this video. The only file that you will need is this file from Microsoft website. The links will be in the description and don't worry about the ad fly is just a way to shorten the link. So just open the file and when this flickers around, now you're going to click yes onto the user account control. The software cannot capture the user account control window. Now once this window opens up, you want to select your language. I'm going to select English United States. The addition, click 8.1 Pro because the license keys work just for that version. To the architecture, click 32-bit. So now click ISO file and click next. Now it's going to open up a prompt on where to save the ISO, I recommend you somewhere handy and then you want to click save and it's going to start downloading. In the meantime, let's create a virtual machine in VirtualBox. Oops, I just... Uh, wanted to move this around, I'm gonna close it. So now I'm going to open up VirtualBox. And you wanna click new, and into this window, you're going to type in any machine name. I'm gonna call this Windows 8.1 and make sure 8.132 bit. It seems that uh, I got one already. I forgot about that, so I'm gonna call this also video. Click next, put in an amount of RAM. I want to put one gigabyte and a half, so I'm gonna make a little bit of calculations. It's 1536, as uh, I know. So click next and create virtual hard disk. Select the format, and I recommend you click fixed size for the best performance of the virtual machine or dynamically to create it faster. I'm going to delete this anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and click dynamically because I can create it faster. Click next and put in an amount of storage that you want, and you can even browse and put it in another location like other partition. Go up in the settings and once this window shows up, you're going to double check your settings. You can add one more core, but make sure that virtualization is enabled. Now, tick those two boxes and put more video RAM, and the rest looks okay. If you don't have the acceleration option, don't forget to enable acceleration of the CPU in BIOS. In the meantime, uh, I just skipped over to the video once this has been done, and I put it on another partition and created a shortcut. Now, back into VirtualBox, you're going to click the settings button off the virtual machine back there. Now, you want to go down to storage and where it says the disk optical drive, just put in that ISO. Now, in this moment, you're going to click OK and click start. So now the virtual machine will start up. I'm just going to maximize this just by going up to view and full screen mode. Click switch and we are up into full screen. If you use VirtualBox before, this will be uh, one of the first things to do. So now select any time and uh, zone and click next and click install now. Okay, at this moment it's going to ask for a license key 
and I will list some in the description. Please let me know if they don't work anymore and I'm going to try to get some, but they should work. I tested them out. I'm going to snap the windows side by side. I'm going to fast forward and put in the license key into the virtual machine and click enter on my keyboard. I'm going to go back to full screen and now you can see the license agreement. Read that, click I accept and then click next. Click custom and onto this prompt you're going to click new and make some partitions. I'm going to create only one but you can customize this. And now click format for both partitions. On my Windows 7 machine I created two partitions. The other one is automatically created and it has just 350 megabytes but you're not going to be able to see it. Click next and this may take a while. I'm going to skip over to the video into this. And now it's going to ask for restart. So just click restart now. Now the machine will restart. So do not click any key when you see this. Just let it run. But do not take the ISO out because it will may need to copy some files on the go. I'm going to fast forward this part right here. So now it's done. This took, took a little while but I just skipped over to the video. And now you can uh, put a PC name for this. I'm going to call it Virtual PC. Put a color if you want to but click next. You can click use express but I recommend you click customize as I will do right now and I'm gonna guide you through it. Click yes or no, it's your choice here for home or network or public networks as well. Now what I recommend you to do is turn these off and let the the that option default and click next. Now disable all these and click next again and now these should be all disabled they're just useless useless they just put it there for uh, tracking a little bit it's not that bad as windows 10 as well but uh they got a little tracking information now it's gonna ask for a microsoft account but i want to use a local account and i'm gonna show you how to skip this part because i don't want to use my microsoft account with this so go onto the fields and put in some random keys on your keyboard. It doesn't actually matter. Just click on some random keys. It does not matter and click next. Now it's going to ask for a captcha. So what you need to do is again put in a random password on your keyboard. It doesn't matter and put in the captcha exactly how it's shown. Click next and now it's going to get back here, but you'll see now that you can continue with a local account. So now we're creating a local account instead of using the Microsoft account and I just click next. Now I'm going to fast forward to this. It took about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now it's done, I just stopped fast forwarding and you are on the desktop. All is left is to install the drivers and this is pretty easy. Go to devices and click insert guest editions CD. Now up in the corner just click this and click run virtual box. At this moment you're gonna see the user account control and click yes, click next, click next. Uh, tick all these three, click install. Now it's going to take uh, a quite short amount of time, uh, but I'm not gonna skip a little bit to this because it's gonna show up a prompt. And you will be able to see it. 
soon. Now you're going to see this Windows Security, just tick that box for Allow Oracle and click Install. Now I'm going to fast forward this and it is pretty pretty short. So now onto this box you're going to click Reboot Now and then you're going to click Finish. Now the virtual machine will restart so I'm going to skip right to it. Okay, so we are back now, so uh, the screen will automatically adjust itself for the drivers. Just wait a little bit. This is the first time, and that's why it takes a little. So hey guys, you're done. Here you go. You got Windows 8.1. Thanks for watching. See you next time on How Do IT.